Welcome back everyone. I'm so excited to jump back into this first app teardown where we are rebuilding SoundCloud's waveform scrubber. In the last episode, we broke down how SoundCloud is sending the data for the waveform view, and we now know that they are drawing the waveform on the device and not sending an image from the back end. The web server sends 1800 sample values, which we've reduced to 340 for the sake of simplicity, and we are ready to build the waveform scrubber and all the UI elements involved. That includes the cover art, the animating label, the blur, the parallax, and so on. There's a lot of coding ahead of us, so let's get to it. As usual, you can find the code of this and all our How to Make Apps episodes on GitHub. The link is in the description. There you have it, SoundCloud's waveform scrubber rebuilt from scratch. Now you might have noticed a few minor deviations. For one, we didn't take the time to match the label font exactly because, well, we just didn't see the point. We're not planning to release a SoundCloud clone anytime soon. For two, the waveform data doesn't look the same either. Like we explained in the first video, SoundCloud reduces the fidelity of their waveform data on the client device before drawing the waveform. Data filtering isn't what this video is about, so we just grabbed the first 340 samples. If you have suggestions for future app teardowns, don't be shy. Leave us a comment. And while you're here, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications too if you're just that excited. As always, thanks for watching, and see you next time.